Did you understand the rules you're fighting? But listen to me at all times. Keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch, do it now. Touch of gloves as referee Mark Goddard gives the final instructions. Morgan Charrier in the black, Perry Goodwin in the white and black. Five five minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors featherweight division for the big gold belt. Perry Goodwin shadow boxing throughout the introductions there. Stop, stop shadow boxing all day. A real ball of pent up energy as the predator today. Just keen to get in the cage, get the job done, and take that title back to the north of England with it. Yeah, Perry definitely looking the bigger of the two. Not sure if that will play into it after five rounds, potentially five rounds, you never know, holding a bit more muscle mass could affect him. He's done an incredible job to get back in shape. You know, he told us today what a struggle this year's been for him. And when gyms were closed in the UK, he really fell out of his routine and ate a lot, drank a lot, and ended up close to 90 kilos at one point this year. So to get back into fighting shape to take on Morgan Charrier is certainly an achievement. Charrier looking for the fizzing right hand there. A good win thrown back. moments in the early offing and you know, we've seen both of these guys throw with incredible power. Think back to the time Goodwin stopped and Alexander Jakobsen dead with that counter shot. You know, we've seen him in against big guys and you know he can still crack against the big fellas too. Didn't look underpowered at higher weight divisions. And he does bring that power down with him to featherweight. Shirley uh, really hacking away at that lead left leg early on. Cage with President Graham Boyle talked about the movement of Goodwin. He does zip around the cage, so perhaps the game plan from Shari has to take the wheels out from under his opponent early. <laughs> Nasty leg kick there. Sherry has movement very, very fluid, very fast, able to get within range, strike and get well without uh, outside of range for any counter. The corner could been calling for the man to, to touch Sherry's hands before he throws that initial shot just to judge his distance there perhaps. moments here in the early offing in York Hall. He left up good with just a couple of inches too short. Oh, both men landing there. Charrier looked to stagger his opponent briefly, I think, Dan. Goodwin made a stern stuff, though. But those lead leg kicks starting to take effect. Charrier looking to unbalance his man with the lead leg kick and then follow up with the hooks behind it. Here's the encouragement from the corner of Perry Goodwin as he gets those feints and fakes to work. Charrier with the lead leg kick again. to the body there for Morgan Charrier and a left hook from Goodwin lands dances back out of range Charrier with the counter that time big right hand from Charrier there and he's marked Goodwin up on the left side of the face down See the swelling on the left cheek of Perry Goodwin there from those early shots from Moya Charrier. Keep busy. 
Sharia was, as we know, a huge star in his home country of Fra France, a, a big personality on YouTube, a social media influencer, has a massive fan base behind him. You want to find out how big Morgan Sherry's fan base is, just tweet anything in support of one of his opponents and the army will soon be on you. <laughs> or the navy, should I say, in support of the last pirate. <laughs> Round one in the books, and yeah, that one went quickly down. Plenty of action. Kicks early on here from Morgan Charrier. Beautiful stuff in combination there, attacking both sides of the leg. And a nice set of hooks there from Morgan Charrier. And Dan, as we say, Terry Goodman wearing a little bit of damage now. Yeah, towards the end of that round there, uh, Charrier definitely managing to find his range. Uh, finishing that round pretty damn strong. Goodwin looking happy with his performance despite that well. <laughs> round two of five for the Cage Warriors featherweight title if they need them. Morgan Charrier, Terry Goodwin here in York Hall in England. It's an iconic venue played host to so many great boxing matches and now MMA over the years and that's a unfortunate low blow there on the part of Morgan Charrier and that seemed to be a, a pretty solid one down. Yeah, that literally silenced the whole building. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at that. Yeah, straight across the front of the cup and you know, Charrier looking to kick the inside of the leg there but just went up a little bit too high. Referee Mark Goddard there just telling Perry Goodwin to take his time. A few deep breaths there from Goodwin. Always good to uh, make the old count. I was waiting to see when the camera angle would change there. <laughs> How much we want to watch a man shake his groin. Charrier just taking a moment here, nonplussed. Going to keep his head in the game. Goodwin gives him the nod and offers the hand. Clearly happy that there was no bad intentions behind that one. It's actually quite good to see a guy take a bit more of a rest. So often you see these fighters want to get straight back in and end up continuing to fight with uh, still a little bit of a, uh, an injury there. Or a lot of fakes and fakes from Goodwin here. He was teasing the sliding back elbow there. Nice inside leg kick from Goodwin now. <laughs> Throws that big heater of a left hand. Charrier looking for an opening to shoot back. You see the power from the strikes by Goodwin, but not being able to land any. Yeah, there's a real whistle <laughs> on the hook from Goodwin when he doesn't land. I can't imagine what the crack at what he does will sound like. So far, the distance and uh, movement of Sherry just... I'm not sure if he's been touched at all. Goodwin's clearly trying to bait his man in here. And, you know, when you talk about the guy with the power of Goodwin, it does only take one. Sherry and more of a combination striker himself. Trying to chew up that lead leg of Goodwin once again. Oh, Goodwin landing a nice combination there. Charrier straight back on him, though. Oh, Goodwin catches his man. Takes another one to the eye, though. Oh, big kick from Morgan Charrier. Three in a row and a pair of huge hooks. Goodwin trips him down, but Charrier with a big slam right in front of us at the commentary position now. Goodwin looking for a guillotine here, perhaps, Dan. Yeah, nice exchange there. Really nice takedown. A lot of power shown there by the Frenchman. A guillotine attempt, but not from a great position here in half guard. We see 
Sherry on top in half guard now. Be interesting to see whether he decides to try and pursue this on the ground to try and get back to the feet from here. Such a pretty, pretty strong position. He can take an over under, lock his arms very, very tight. Uh, but it looks like he's not really moving at all. You know, that is a strategy. You don't want to try and escape and get back to the feet. You hold, lock everything down, and wait for the referee to stand him up for you. Yeah, you heard referee Mark Goddard there asking Charrier to stay busy. Yeah, Goodwin trying to work a little bit more from underneath here. Looks like he's going for a deep half guard position. The pot are giving the opportunity to sweep from here, but Sherry keeping his hips backwards. He doesn't want to allow Goodwin to get underneath him. I want to see uh, Sherry try and get past his legs, though, see what he's like on the ground. Nice elbow from Goodwin there. Yeah, Goodwin. That's forced Mom Sherry had to posture up a little bit. Well, that's it. And also, you can see the, the left, leg, uh, left leg of Goodwin. He's using as a knee shield, trying to keep that distance. And what he did there was he was using that shin to keep the distance, and then he released that shin, and that gave him that space to cut in and try and get to a deep half guard. Sherry trying to clasp the hands for a choke here, Dan. Yeah, what he wants to look to do is to. Well, you can use that 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 palm to palm connection nice. around that arm and neck to try and get some upper body control and try and get out of that half guard position. But Perry actually doing a really good job of transitioning to a good half guard sweep position. Unfortunately, he left he let go of the half guard, meaning that Sheria could transition. Now he's on the back here. If Sheria wants to get back to the feet, this is the position to do so. The only thing that is keeping these two people connected is Sheria deciding to hold onto the back. So you know. If he stays in this position, it's because he wants to be on the ground, because if he didn't want to be on the ground, he could stand up quite easily from here. 50 seconds. 50 seconds left in the round. Is it long enough for Morgan Charrier to do something big here? Can Goodwin survive? Here we go, one hook coming in here. Is he going to go for the back? Is he going to try and get that second hook in? Perry's in a pretty good position. His back is kind of on the fence there to stop Sherry from being able to circle around to the back. Sherry is going to a over under here. 25 seconds left in this round. Probably not going to be enough time. He does manage to get that second hook in. He's deciding the strike from here, possibly to open up the neck. Only 30 seconds left. Nicely done by Perry to get to the feet and shrug Sherry off of that position. Had to eat a few shots to get it though. Did Perry Goodwin? Good work from Morgan Charrier at the end of that round, and a nice shot from Goodwin to put an exclamation point on it. Yeah, very nice round, some nice ground transitions there. Yeah, much better round for the last pirate there. Let's take a look at some of his handiwork. Well, Perry Goodwin kicking things off with a nice set of hooks in combination. Charrier constantly stalking him though. And look at the leg kicks here from Morgan Charrier. Three hard kicks in a row. And then it was a right hand left hook combination and a big takedown. Yeah, that was actually really nice. You know, he, he uh, the Perry managed to catch the leg. Uh, Sherrier fell to his back. He could have tried to stand up, but it probably would have put uh, him in a worse position to decide to go for the takedown. This is towards the end of the round here. He did manage to look pretty good on the ground, actually, eventually getting the back with the hooks. Probably was a good idea to try and strike from there, as he probably wouldn't have had enough time to go for the submission if he looked for it. So nice finish to the round there for the Frenchman. The legion of fans behind the last pirate will be happy with his performance in that second round. He's got three more between him and the Cage Warriors featherweight title. He's got three more rounds of Perry Goodwin between him and the Cage Warriors title. Goodwin has made his intentions clear all week. He's taking that belt onto Redcar. Goodwin has he's been happy to circle around the outside of the cage for the majority of the fight so far, Dan. Yeah, Sherry definitely keeping Perry very close, close to the fence, keeping that pressure up the entire time. Sherry is still looking to strike on the counter here. Yeah, his, ability, that lead leg. his ability to move out of range and then get within range to strike is uh, super impressive. Look at that. So I'm saying he closes the distance so quickly and then by the time Perry has a chance to hit back, he's already gone. 
Yeah, that was a big shot from Charrier. And he's cut Perry Goodwin above the left eye now, or just to the side of the left eye. Goodwin barreling forward, though. Not an ideal spot for that cut. And it's really leaking now. And Goodwin has had a fire lit inside him. Lands a nice right hand, Charrier firing back, great head movement to get out of the way of the return fire. And look for Charrier now to kick out that lead leg and land the right hand, Goodwin barreling forward. And that blood on the chest of Goodwin, like a red rag to a bull. Oh, Charrier with the ball shot! What a shot from Morgan Charrier. A left hook to the body. Puts Perry Goodwin away in the third round. I'm not sure I want to have another look at this body shot finish, but my goodness, we're going to. Oh, a rib roaster. Yeah, Morgan Cherrier, the last pirate, with an incredible knockout. Let's take another look, Dan. I mean, they don't get much cleaner than that, right? Well, that was it. You know, no follow-up uh, follow shots were necessary. As soon as that landed, Goodwin dropped down, fetal position, it was game over. What a perfectly timed, perfectly placed body shot there. I mean, I say they don't get much cleaner than that, but that was pure filth. <laughs> Morgan Charrier, the real deal. Let's take a look at this in super slow-mo. Wow. And all credit to Perry Goodwin, one of the toughest guys you'll ever see compete in Cage Warriors, in European MMA, anywhere else. A real grinder, a real grafter, and a real showman. But unfortunately, came up short tonight against the last pirate, Morgan Charrier. Vive La France, they've got a new Cage Warriors champion. Here's our MC, Mr. Hal Chaplin, to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Mark Goddard, calls a stop to this contest after one minute and 55 seconds of round number three, declaring your winner by way of knockout and the new Cage Warriors featherweight world champion in the red corner, Morgan. The last pirate shall we end.